first at 11. It was calm and then just boom, never seen nothing like it. Powerful storms roll into metro Atlanta. So again, the tornado warning continues. Causing widespread damage. That tree just snapped like a toothpick. And as always, 11 Alive made sure you were weather aware. I was showing you the forecast track that showed the thin line of storms moving through. That's what we've been dealing with. Tonight, the storms roll out and the cleanup begins. For much of the afternoon and into this evening, many across Metro Atlanta and North Georgia hunkered down to write it all out. Absolutely, and many of those images you saw at the top of the broadcast, a few are from our storm trackers. We have team coverage for you this evening. In a moment, we'll bring in our chief meteorologist, Chris Holcomb, who will tell us about what we can expect for the weekend. We'll also get a report from Bobeth Yates with damage out of Floyd County. But let's begin this evening with Cody Alcorn with more on how the storm impacted folks up in Cobb County. Cody? In just a few hours, crews will be out here to get this tree off of this home. We are in the Chimney Springs neighborhood here in Marietta, and you can see the damage from this storm. This is exactly why when Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb and our team of meteorologists put out these severe thunderstorm warnings, you want to get to the bottom floor of your home, even if it's not a tornado, because look at this. If this family would have been on that second floor, this could have been deadly. This is about a 100-foot tree that fell from the neighbor's yard onto this two-story home here in Cobb County. This was that storm that Chris and them warned on around 530. It swept through Cobb County. This is the kind of damage we are seeing throughout the area. We do know trees came down on a couple of cars and again, trees just down in different sections of the county. But this, the most significant uh, structure damage we saw here in Cobb County this evening. The good news is this family's okay. They're not staying here, obviously, and it's going to take quite some time to get this home repaired. The entire side of this home uh, damaged. I talked to a crew that was out here. They said it's going to cost about $5,000 to get this tree up, but again, that money uh, a little bit better than what could have happened here if those people would have been on that second floor. But again, just another warning why it is always important to take those severe thunderstorm warnings seriously and get to the bottom floor of your home. 